Hi everyone, I'm UK Girl in SF and I'm going to do another video on one of my collections and it's not so much a collection like the others but I've always been an Elvis fan and so I'm going to show you some of my vinyl singles from back in the day. Now a lot of teenagers nowadays don't know what vinyl is and somebody was saying on the BBC that vinyl's making a comeback. Well, in my household, vinyl never went away. So I'm going to show you some. Now, I have too many Elvis singles and LPs. It was very hard to go through them all. So I just picked some out because they're all favourites. And the first one, these are all English, by the way. So the B tracks on some of them would have been different in America. But the first one is Elvis Sings, Return to Sender. And where do you come from? I don't know about you, but I come from England originally. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist that. And uh, this is a collector's series. And as you can see, it cost me 50 pence. Oh my God, can you imagine 50 pence for that back in the day? And then we have his latest flame and little sister. Little Sister is such a great song. They're all good. Guitar Man and Faded Love. Faded Love would be the B track, so like I say, it's most probably different here in America. And then we have Help Me. I don't need help. <laughs> That's a great song. And the... Hold on. The B side, is it the B side? Or is Help Me the B side? I can't tell. But the other one on the other side is If You Talk In Your Sleep. And oh my God, what a song. It is absolutely brilliant. It's one of my favorites, actually. And let's take one out. Now, you know, for vinyl, you try not to touch the actual vinyl. So you kind of grab it like this because you don't want to get your paw prints on them but that's what vinyl looks like and like I said it never went away in my household the sound was better you know it's great to have a CD but can't beat vinyl and the fair's moving on great song but my favourite actually is on the other side, the B track, Clean Up Your Own Backyard. Oh my God, it is such a great song. Very up-tempo and love it. One of my all-time favourites. Now, here's an extended play by RCA. As you know, RCA was his record label. And this is from the film Follow That Dream. So they have more than one track on here. And that's why it's an extended play. This is side two and then side one. And Follow That Dream, the actual song itself, is one of my all-time favourites of his musical, of his film tracks. And it means something special to me because I did follow my dream in coming to America. That was always my dream when I was growing up. So I finally achieved it. And then we have one here that was set, uh, put out by Reader's Digest, free audition disc. And I guess it's a precursor to the floppy disc <laughs> because it's not actually vinyl per se. But this was one of those like freebies in a magazine. So that's a good one to have. And then last but not least, and this... This is really weird, this one. I mean, it's supposed to be the very first track he ever did. And uh, but there's a debate about that. And they have a disclaimer on the back, actually. I don't know if you can read that. Um, but that's the disclaimer, because they're not sure, actually, if it was his first professional recording. And then you have some letters here which I think from a historical point of view are very, very interesting. 
and that's why even if you're not an Elvis fan and you're not interested in his music just to see how these old vinyl looked you know his records I love this sort of thing even if I didn't like someone else I'd be watching and this is the front so rather an interesting one that I picked up years and years ago so that's it I hope you've enjoyed seeing them and until my next video please watch my others on YouTube if you wish and subscribe and this is UK Girl in SF sounding out and signing off bye